I'm going to try to keep this video right around two to three minutes here. I've got the Boxit Pro version now, which is just a little bit of an upgrade. So when you click Boxit, now you'll be able to throw in uh, other boxes as you wish. You've got the um, collection or custom object. So it says custom object here by default. If you click custom collection, it will then show the collection. Now we'll go over here to the materials. And I found a better material for this. We're just going to jump over to the shader. And this is on the gum road now. You can go snatch that and get that texture with the Boxit Pro. And you'll see these four textures there now. And so I'll go ahead and load this up. And then we want to select that material. And we'll go with material because that's the one it's going to show. And you now have a nice cardboard box uh, texture set up. A little better. And then, of course, like I said before, the uh, shift pile is still going to work the same way it did before. The box levels, you can change that to anything you want. Now, uh, whatever makes sense to you. And, you know, just keep them one on top of the other. Then you've got the setup here where you can spread them out. Increase the subdivisions. So you have tons and tons of boxes. Throw in rotations if you wish and make it look just a little bit more real, a little bit more realistic. Then you got the probability and then you can add a custom collection. There is also a UV seam search in here, which is a little bit more of a detailed tutorial to go through that. I'm not going to go through that right now. And this use case is going to be based on custom objects. But what you can do is you can turn it on. And then you're just searching from the beginning to the end, and you're going to see where the final vertice is for the mesh you're trying to um, unwrap. And so you'll get a deletion point somewhere in here, and then you'll say, hey, okay, 45. So 0 to 45 was where I want to unwrap it. Then you can turn that off, and then it'll, it'll show up accordingly. And that is something that will be default closed and default to off. And that's it, guys. Just a better texture, a slightly better functionality behind the add-on itself. Uh, there are still some things clipping here, obviously. And real quick, the way you fix that is the minimum and maximum size of the boxes. So you can kind of arrange that and change it out how you wish, and then you can stack said boxes and shift them around anyways go pick up the add-on the link will be in the description if you haven't already seen it and still working on this thing it's a work in progress just figure i release it you guys can have fun with it see you in the next one